Hello and welcome to the first look preview of the next version of Windows Home Server codenamed Whale. In this video, we'll take a brief tour of the new UI of Whale. Once Whale is installed and the first computer is connected and configured, we have the following shortcuts on the desktop. First, we have the dashboard which replaces the console. Next is a launchpad which is new. And finally, a link to the shared folders. Let us take a look at the launchpad. The launchpad is a quick, easy way to get to common tasks a user would perform, such as backup, remote access, accessing shared folders, and finally, accessing server dashboard for administration. Now let us open up the dashboard and log in. Once we are logged in, we see this totally refreshed, brand new, sleek UI. Here you can see the getting started tasks, common tasks, and the tasks that you need to complete. On the right hand side, there's a convenient set of links, such as the links to the FAQs and forums, etc. Clicking on the users tab brings us to the user administration screen. Here you can see the user accounts that have already been created. You can do specific tasks on each user or you can actually create a brand new user. Next, clicking on the Computers and Backup tab shows us the following screen. Here you can see the server and the PCs that are connected to the Veil home server. On the right hand side are common tasks that one would perform to a given PC, such as backups, restores, customization of backups, etc. Next, let us look at the server folders and hard drives tab. Here under hard drives, you can see the hard drives that are installed on the system. Next, under server folders, you see all the folders that are available on the home server. You can also add new server folders right from here. Next, we click on the general settings. Here you have a couple of settings that are important for home server. There are a general settings tab. Next is the media streaming tab. Here you can turn on or off media streaming. Next is home group setup. Windows Home Server is now capable of joining home groups. Next is remote access. Here you can turn on or off your remote access for Windows Home Server. The critical alerts shows any alerts that you should be aware of, such as problems with your PCs, the status of your PCs, backups, etc. We will now take a look at remote access. Let us log in. As you can see in Whale, the remote access UI has been completely refreshed. This UI is completely customizable by OEMs. Here you can see a few important panels, such as computers, shared folders, and the media library. These panels are customizable and can be moved around to your liking. We will now take a look at remote media streaming. In Vail, remote media streaming is dramatically improved. Let us now click on Photos. Here we can see all the albums that are available on the Windows Home Server. I can pick an album and click Play Slideshow. Now let us take a look at remote music streaming. Here we are seeing all the albums that are available on the home server. By clicking play all, it launches a new window with a silver light application. 
Here you can see all the album artwork beautifully displayed. I can click play on any song or I can choose to add a song to my queue. As you can see with this new UI, the playback experience is very rich and beautiful. Next, let us take a look at the remote video playback. Here you can see all the videos that are available on the Windows Home Server. So when I'm on the road, if I wanted to see a show or a movie that is on my Windows Home Server, I can go here to see it. I can click play on any one of these videos and see the video remotely. Windows Home Server automatically adjusts the bitrate to optimize it for your bandwidth. We hope you have enjoyed the first look preview of the Windows Home Server codenamed Whale. Be sure to sign up for Whale Beta that is now publicly available. Thank you for watching.